Welcome to Reflector Hub TV. We share gospel content that will stir up God in you. Subscribe now and stay connected. The second reason why the ministry of priesthood is powerful is because you see, the anointing, the word anoint is an ordination. It's a system of authorization that allows you to function in an office. It was an ancient system that was used for kings, priests, prophets. To anoint doesn't just mean to spare with oil. To anoint means to legitimize your operation. Are we together now? That means that you are not illegal as far as that function is concerned. There is a throne in heaven that backs your operation. That's what it means to anoint. So when the Bible says how God anointed Jesus, he was was authorized to function in that office of the Christ when the saints are anointed we are given authorization on legal grounds the sons of Sceva were not anointed by the Holy Spirit that was why the demon said no this operation although you used to get results but it's still illegal because the Holy Ghost is not the sponsor of it there is no legitimate ground upon which you should operate that way are we together now and now please watch this listen very carefully when when the anointing of the Holy Spirit is his ability at work in a man is God's very ability at work in a man now watch this please the anointing and all kinds of graces are in dimensions and they are in levels anointing is not general anointing just because you are anointed does not mean anointed once and it can solve every problem that's not accurate are we together now that's not accurate if that were so the disciples would not need to be filled with the Holy Spirit again and the Bible would not make reference to the lavish dimension of Jesus is being anointed how God anointed Jesus it took out time to tell us the extent of the anointing please watch this I've shared it here I think maybe at, at the Bagada church or so in one of the conferences that the anointing is in levels and the level of anointing that you possess or a servant of God possesses also reflects the dimensions of spiritual problems that can be solved just because you are anointed does not mean every problem is within your jurisdiction to solve in experience now you have to understand this please let me have two gentlemen make sure they are workers also please just come okay yes you come you come sir thank you look at this look at this now this guy is in need of favor open doors this guy is in need of healing I can have the anointing the grace for favor and the grace for healing but not to the degree that can solve this man's financial problems I can pray for him it is the limit of my grace that will be at work in him even if he falls down and stands up are you getting what I'm saying now I can uh, the, the worst part of it is I can have the healing anointing alone if I pray for this guy he will fall down but what he wants is result in the area of prosperity he will stand up and every other remaining challenge in his body will be solved but the issue of the finance cannot be answered because the grace the dimension the anointing of the spirit works within the jurisdiction of his allocation any anointing does not solve any problem no no there are dimensions this is where impartation and other things come remember Joshua was already filled with the spirit but Moses was told to lay hands on him again are we together now yes so I can solve this man's problem and pray for him and say in the name of Jesus let doors be open and nothing happens and you find out that all that continues to happen around my life is that people are healthy they live long they live strong but they are broke it's a reflection of the deficiency of the dimension of grace at work in my life now when that grace comes it will speak immediately now let's 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 change it both of them are trusting God for higher dimensions of maybe spiritual encounters or finances or whatever and I can have that anointing but not to that level we are two preachers respectfully speaking listen carefully let's say myself and let me use a great figure like Benny Hinn you know or um, T.L. Osborne of blessed memory he's gone now these are fathers with proven track records are we together now now I can pray for this man 
In the name of Jesus be healed In the name of Jesus let the cancer go I'm calling the name of Jesus I'm a sincere believer I'm anointed The Holy Ghost is at work in me And you'll be surprised The cancer does not leave And this guy will come and sit In a Benihin conference Where he's just talking to leaders And the cancer leaves Now watch this The difference is not, the, is not God it's not God. The same Lord is rich unto all. But something, the, there is the level of anointing. It's like money. If you have 10,000, you can eat lunch, but you cannot buy a car. If you are hungry, rejoice because you have enough for it. But if you want a car, start crying because you will need more. Are, are we together now? So, conferences like this create systems of upgrade. Where you can get higher dimensions of the same grace And then other, I mean higher levels of the same grace And other dimensions that are missing in your life You can know what is on you by the results that are around you Listen to me Everything that happens around you is a report card An attestation to the grace that you carry This is true Imagine this I can be walking with this gentleman Watch this And then this man meets with me Come sir And he chooses to ignore this one And he blesses me And then he passes I think he just blessed me No, what was on me Was programming my climate Although we are close We will not get the same result Are we together now? You see that? There was something on me that was calling for favor from him. So although, yes sir, although I'm holding the hand of this one and we're walking together. I pray in the name of Jesus that we understand what I'm teaching. That way we will minimize wasting our time trying to outsource things physically. Realities are programmed The realm of the spirit is that powerful That what manifests in the physical realm There is a grace when you carry a generation must hear you It is not just because Listen, listen, listen It is not just because you are the greatest preacher You can have all the anointing in the world And a generation will ignore what you are saying There is an anointing that makes hear ye him A possibility A verdict from heaven That will compel every territory to hear your voice there is a grace that calls for destiny help us they don't just come no they don't just come they know you just because you are holding the hand of a multi-millionaire he can look at you and you can even go to the restaurant with him and pay for your food he is not greedy what is on you is not allowing him bless you because the same man will leave you and go to another person and say please can I have the privilege of giving you a car so he's a giver not to you but to the one who carries the grace let me tell you this there is nobody that is greedy it's what is on you that is programming your possibilities it's true Where we don't sit down and just begin to complain Why is this not happening? My business is not growing No The world has about 7.2 billion people That's enough bodies for God to use to bless you That's enough bodies for God 7.2 billion people cannot forget you Someone has to remember you But it's what is on you Apostle, why is it that people do not listen to what I'm saying? It's because you only have what to say. You have not gotten what will make men listen. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life must change. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace My life must change I will never be the same I've touched your grace My life must change I will never be the same 
I will never be the same I'm on your grave My life must change 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 Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. The word of God has always been quick, sharp, and powerful. It's a design of the intent of the heart of a man. God bless you as you have received his word from his servant, Apostle Joshua Selman. For more inspiring messages, more elevating, powerful messages as this, we encourage you to please subscribe to Reflector Hub TV. And also click on the notification bell below to get more inspiring messages. Thank you for watching. Remain blessed.